YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, King HB3, aka Mr. One Time, aka Scorpion, in this thing, man. What it do? What it do? YouTube, Facebook, just got off work. About the, um, just got done doing a session too. I got off work about a couple of hours ago and I've been doing a heavy session. Like, I went in against the grain like crazy. Uh, with the comb, I've been doing a lot of combing since I'm like five plus weeks, so I have to do a lot of combing. But this video is not really meant to, you know, go off showing my waves as much. I, I really want to ask, a, you know, ask some questions. A lot. I've been getting a lot of feedback. You know, I have been trying to stay active and you know keep up with the pages and keep up with the wave builder and stuff like that. So. Basically trying to stay active is causing a lot of feedback and causing a lot of flooding in my inbox. So, I wanted to do a little video right quick. You know what I'm saying? Just a few questions. It ain't, it ain't going to be that long though. Uh, that people have been asking me. My homie, uh, Jermaine Stroke. Sephora, man, he uh, he a part of One Wave Nation. Shout out to One Wave Nation, by the way. Salute, you know. Um, what do you say? Say it one time. What do natural oils do for one's hair? For me, uh, natural oils. It consists of you got. They help with shine, makes your hair soft. I think the biggest thing with natural oils is that they seal, they are sealants. Like, you can put a moisturizer in your hair first and then cover it with the oil or the natural oil. And that moisturizer will not come out of your hair. It'll kind of like stay in longer, you know. So, I, I, you know, a lot of people use oils as sealants or basically um, hot oil treatments. So, but for me, it, it also helps with um, hair loss. I've heard of it helping with hair loss. I got, I got a friend that told me something about that, too. He He's big with waving, too. He's trying to get back in the wave game. And he was telling me that oils, you know, doing hot oil treatments actually promotes hair growth. So, it helps with the hair loss thing and things like that. Um, I mean, that's... That's what I got. That's what I think, in, you know, in my opinion. Just overall, naturally, it keeps your hair healthy. But you got to be careful of not using too many oils because there are times where your pores have to get, you know, some air. They have to, you know, breathe. And the oils can kind of like overdo it. And if you, you overdo it with the natural oils or any oil, what will happen is it will basically seal in everything in you. You have to wash your hair and get that out. I mean, I'm just saying. So, uh, sorry if that was a little jibbled up there. I was getting kind of confused and putting every, jumbling everything together. But hopefully you understand. So, let's see. I got another question. This is from my boy Silky, Mr. Set, and he's also a part of One Wave Nation. Shout out to you, man. Um. Says, did you get more waves as you progressed? Definitely, I got more waves as I progressed because my hair in the weak spot started waving up. I started getting uh, my weak spot started waving up, thus having more waves in that spot or those areas where they were weak at first. So yeah, as I progressed, I did see more waves accumulating in my hair. Once I had actually had the the pattern set on certain most of my hair, most of the areas, I knew that was how many I was gonna have. That was my ultimate thing to have in my hair was those particular waves or those particular ones or whatever. So I mean, that's pretty much it on that one on that question. Yeah, once you basically once you get your uh, once you get your strokes going and you you're going good in the beginning and doing things like that, 
you you'll probably see one wave, then you'll see another wave. That's because you're progressing. You're progressing, and more of your hair is waving up, so you're gonna have more waves. So, yeah. Man, here's another question. Uh, but it is so hard to say this guy's name. We have a lot of. We have a lot of world, world, world waivers, like across the world waivers, like South America, Philippines, Africa, Canada, um, Jamaica, whatever. We have so many everywhere. Some of these people, I can't say their name, but his name is Medeja Ladawaba Hapu. I said it completely wrong. The last name is Poos, uh, Pousse or whatever, but, and you know disrespect by the way, I wasn't trying to mess up your name, if you, you know, you see the video, um, he said is, is it cool to use different types of brushes, or should I, or, or must I use the same type of brush forever, man, I can tell you right now, you can use whatever brush you want, man. As long as you brushing your hair, this is what really matters. Like, I see so many people. I seen one guy have like 50 brushes. I seen another guy had like, I don't know, he had a bed that was, the whole bed was filled of, of brush, brushes. So... Me, I got a lot of brushes too, but not like to that extreme. I got, um, I say about seven, to eight brushes, uh, a couple of CQPs, and mostly Diane's. So, but yeah, I mean, you, I mean, for the most part, I hate to tell people to go out and get a certain brush, get this exact brush, get this exact brush. When it really, really boils down to it, as long as you got that brush in your mindset, I mean, you're gonna get waves. Cause that's the that's the purpose that's I mean that's the purpose of the brush, and that's the purpose of you is to get the waves. It's all on you and it's all on the brush. Um, so just remember that you know, but certain brushes do certain things because of how they laid out in inside the you know how the bristles are laid out and the actual type of the bristles it do kind of matter in a way, but. Overall, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter. As long as you got a brush and you brush them good with it, you're good to go. So, but me personally, I, I go with CQPs, Diane's. I've still yet to use a, a Annie. Um, I go with my combs too. I use my combs when I'm deep in my wolf session. So, to answer that question... Let's see. Got another question. Oh, here's one. This is from I. I can't even say this person's name. <laughs> um, whoever, whatever. He he asked. I'm having a hard time getting my right side to wave up. What should I be doing to fix this? I've heard about changing the direction, but how? What you say? But how I'm brushing the rest of my hair, changing direction will counteract the rest of my hair. What do I need to do to get my hair to wave up on that side? Right now, I'm currently. I just got a haircut, and I'm brushing like crazy. Okay. This is a. This is like one of the original legendary questions. How do you get a certain area to wave up, especially the main of the right side? For some odd reason, a lot of most wavers 
beginners anyway, even me, the weak side is the right side. And it's, it's kind of hard to manipulate that hair and get it to do what you want it to do, especially waving up. For me, what I did was I actually continued the way I wanted to brush my hair and the way I wanted to do. You can't brush your... You can't brush your left side the same way as your right side if you're having problems with one of the sides. That 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 automatically lets you know that there's a there's a direction issue. So like you said, like he's like like the like you asked that question and you kinda like answered your own question in a way when you said that you hear a lot of people talking about change the direction. You're gonna have to change the direction of your hair. I mean, it is what it is. If you don't want to change the direction, like I didn't change my direction, but I woofed longer. I did multiple five-week woofs, like mini woofs, and I was doing comb sessions. Eventually, it waved up, and I also, hold on. Now, me personally, I try to do the all natural products. I try my best to stick to straight natural products. But there was one product that I started researching on that really helped with my right side when I had problems with it. Actually, across the edges. I mean, I my sideburns right here are waved up now, you know, which is crazy. But it was a product. It's $6.99 here in Tennessee. It's Wave Builder. It's a Wave Builder product. And it's called... Wave Builders Edge Tastic uh, Edge Waving Enhancer. It's solely for your edges, but basically your size. I mean, it's basically what it's for is your size. Um, I definitely like this product when I used it for, for my right side. It helped a lot. Um, I didn't see anything happening in the first week. My hair was growing more. It grew in. You start using this product right here. Brushing, brushing, brushing. First wave came in. What? Second wave came in. What? Third wave deep, deep came in. Like this wave right here. I got a wave right here on my hair. I'm not going to take my stock cap off because I just got done with my session. I got a wave right here that's thicker than any of my waves on my head. And I love that wave. <laughs> but. It's crazy because my right side was so straight, especially my back too, like my right back area right in here. If you look at my other videos, like I got a, like my videos are very consistent of my journey. You can see through my videos how I've progressed. So this product right here really helped when I was in the, you know, beginning, beginning, you know. Waving up, you know what I'm saying, bro. So use use this. Try to get this product. It's wave builders edge tastic wave edge waving enhancer. Um, this is this kind of like what it looks like. Let me go ahead and show what it look like. It 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 do look like a gel like product. I'm not gonna lie, looks like a gel like product. So and it it smells like wave builder. <laughs> It smells like Wave Builder products. You know, Wave Builder only got a couple of products that don't smell like a chemical or whatever. But yeah, there's nothing against Wave Builder. I still love, you know, love their products. You know, you know they helped me in the beginning, so I'm gonna, you know, I still got some of my Wave Builder products. So that's that. Um, but yeah, that was just to answer a few questions. Anybody that you, if you need help, hit my inbox up, man. You know, I'm always helping everybody because that's what it's all about. You know, I'm not a I'm not a hateful waiver, you know what I'm saying? I show love to all the waivers. You know, if you like I like I said before, I said all the time, you got one wave, show you love. You got a wave in your head, you're doing something. <laughs> you're doing something to get that one wave, you feel me? So um just continue to brush people. Just continue to brush your hair. Continue to um do all the necessary things you need to do. And like I said, man, any questions, any concerns, hit my inbox up, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Wave Builder. I'm actually on Wave Builder. 
Uh, so it's I'm on the H Bledsoe so three on Wave Builder. You know when hell if you can't find me, I'm through the forums. I'm 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 active on Wave Builder too. Not as active as I used to be, but I'm active. Um, currently, so you can you can hit me up on that. You know what I'm saying? Um. What else? I'm trying to finish this on off. Um, that's pretty much it. So, I'll probably do another video here. And cut this one on off. Because, you know, keep it at, you know, 15 or under that. And that's pretty much it, man. It's, it's the king, man. King HB3. A.K.A. Mr. One Time. One Wave Nation. Salute. We got you, baby.